finally going to see my mom's heart doctor. Finally. Finally. See a cardiologist. See, hopefully, things have improved. Maybe because she got the stones removed and stuff, maybe things have improved. Uh, all I know is, obviously, that's the important shit. However, however, the shit that recently went down, no, and now it, it was it was the CVS have been going to periodically, not even remotely all the time. I'm not regular, I'm not in all the time. I could go weeks, months without going in there. It doesn't matter. It was where I could go and and not have to worry and and for a decade. And now I have to make sure that she's not there. I don't ever want to go near her again. She's a fucking cunt. She she probably you know if I embarrassed her in front of her employees. You know, if I go in there, she might start looking and, and thinking I'm going to steal something. Or it's just disgusting. I'm being, 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 like, like, targeted or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Just because I use the extra bucks and return the, the makeup. One lipstick out of two. I mean, but anyway, it's just, to me, in my eyes, it's another valid reason, extremely valid reason why we, I wish we, I was, we were all with Joe when we were out of Massachusetts, thousands of miles away from here. I wouldn't be going through any of this shit. I wouldn't even be, you know, you know, the technically, I guess that could happen at any CVS. I told you that other woman said at her CVS, which would really, really shock me. Now, this shocked me, too, but it all is shocking where she was just outright told we don't accept returns on makeup when it's a CBS 100% satisfaction guaranteed policy that all drugstores implemented. It, it, they just do what they want. They do what they want, and, and it's just... But that, at least, was up front. We're not taking the makeup back. If I heard that, I'd be and did, do what she did. It's that, but it's your policy to do it. But then they have the little thing online to get them off the hook. And let's see if I even hear back from them. And I'm forced to just call and call and call, get more and more angry, angry or pissed off. They have a little thing online that says that diff, that that what a manager does is at that manager's discretion. So there you have it. They basically, that's an open door for them to do whatever they please, including not tell you up front that they're not going to accept makeup back, even though it's the nationwide CVS policy to do so. And they, that each CVS can just say, well, you don't have to go here, you can go somewhere else where they do take your makeup back. You know, that's all they have to say. Just like I could go somewhere else where they won't subtract the uh, extra bucks from your refund. She just was profiling me or something, targeting me. Like, and now if I ever go back in there again, she knows I can't stand her. She knows that I went in there when she was gone, that I called to make sure she's not there. So th she probably, like, keep an eye on her. She's just, it's, it's insanity. I'm the last person in the world who's going to steal. And I spent the extra bucks because they never care. It all comes out in the wash. There are times, like I said, I found a $5 coupon one time that I hadn't spent, I hadn't used, that I'd received. It was right there. And it was expired. They expired a month, so I don't care. She can go fuck herself. Just another reason I wish we were with Joe. Just another thing that I have to deal with. another thing to deal with that I have that sucks. It's somewhere I've been going to forever. Forever. And now I have to worry about this fucking cunt profiling me, probably telling her employees, you watch out for her. Meanwhile, they've had no problem with me ever and I would never steal. And it's just sickening. 
the extra bucks. It's not stealing if you're aware of the fact that they don't want them back and you didn't do it intentionally. Intentionally would be buy two lipsticks, don't open them at all, get the extra bucks, and return them, which is what people do all the time, who are criminals, who are committing felony, coupon fraud, felony, it's a felony, okay? It's not me. I used, I used one briefly, and I decided I didn't want it, but when I spent the extra bucks in there, it's because I'm not in there all the time, and I lose out, and I lose out, and I lose out on them. Bitch. Everyone deserves the benefit of the doubt unless they prove to you otherwise. Unless they prove to you otherwise. They deserve the benefit of the doubt. Everybody, everybody.